Well, it's about 5.30 in the morning on, uh, on a Friday morning in Bakersfield. And I am actually uh, couldn't sleep, so I'm going to be walking around a little bit. Here's our hotel right over there where Doug and I are staying. It's called the Easy 8. Oh, there's the moon. I don't know what that is. Anyway, uh, and there's Denny's. You can see Denny's. And uh, basically, there's the main one of the main highways there, 99, that comes into the town. Not focusing. There we go. There's the uh, the famous Crystal Palace, Buck Owens Crystal Palace. It's a uh, it's a pub. It's like a bar, uh, eat-in, family dining, all that kind of stuff. But uh, I thought the imprints, the cement imprints, were pretty cool. Okay, there's your Bakersfield. Let's get that tree out of the way. Bakersfield. It's kind of cool, all lit up like that. They should do that for Mitchell, Ontario. <laughs> Big pillars. It's kind of neat. Significance, though, I think, is a lot of the country singers came out of here. Dwight Yoakam and uh, Buck Owens. Now there's the pride of American dining right there. Denny's Diner. You'll find in every town. the streets of Bakersfield hi we're just going to take a picture of this Fox Theater here and it's uh, last night we could have um, if we would have known about it we could have been here and Ben Skill was here it's the old Fox Theater there's Douglas Broadfoot over there there's and Skill was here last night and we missed it. We're not sure how we much. We didn't even know. We didn't even know. Unfortunate. So, and we're just touring around Bakersfield and we're just kind of talking. Maybe we'll talk to a few people, discuss. Oh, there's the Statue of Liberty over there. I hear that guy uh, does the signage here. And so, how was Vince Gill last night? Was it good? Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. Did he, uh, how many people do you think were in the audience? Um, I think it was pretty much sold out. Wow. Yeah. We're from Canada. We're just uh, down here for a couple of days doing a couple of shows. And uh, it would have been neat. This is really old theater. Do you know how old the theater is? Um, I think it was built in 1918, I believe. Wow. It's always been called the Fox Theater? Yeah. Yeah. It's very it cool. It opened about 10 years ago. Okay. Dwight Yoakam's from this uh, area as well? Dwight Yoakam? Yeah. Um, Buck Owens. Buck Owens, okay. Thank you very much. No okay, so Doug and I are going to take a, a couple of little jaunts around um, the streets here. A little local flavor. Some local action. On a Friday morning. And one thing we did find that was the, uh, um, we were startled by how many bail bonds uh, houses, there's actually housing and, and some business offices that are all bail it's bonds. A big what business about we bailing count. people out of jail. I think we've counted, uh, I think we counted how many, six of six, them? Six, six or seven. Yeah, so that was interesting. Very interesting. There's a lot of people being jailed here. No kidding. So it's just, you know, it's an average, you know, it's kind of an average town, average streets and so forth. Now I was surprised that the guy said, like, I thought Dwight Yoakam was from this area, but actually maybe it's just the fact that he wrote about Bakersfield, so. Um, maybe it was a tribute to Buck. A tribute to Buck is right. Bail bonds, red barn. Get your bail bonds. There's bail There's bonds. another one here. Absolute bail bonds. If you don't like those guys, you can always go here because they have five percent rate. Five percent rate there, which is pretty good. You can go to Starbucks and then go to the bail bonds <laughs> and go across the street to the liquor store. Get yourself a big, big bottle of rye. Yeah, with a plastic handle. Assault sea bail bonds coming up on the right. Yeah. 
bail bonds. There's a buck on That's the Liberty. He's going to the Liberty bail bonds. Yeah. Liquidation. They're having a big sale on bail bonds over here. Got some tax services going on here. There's a big shoe. Look at that shoe. Yeah. Shoe return. Only in America, you say. Okay. It's now the Five and Dime Antique Mall. Five and Dime, okay. It's very, how, this is a fairly older street here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like one of the older yeah. main streets, yeah. yeah. Very good, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is unbelievable, this is great. It's like a step back in time, eh? Oh look at, they've got some Leslie speakers here. There we are, look at, we're handsome, we're handsome devils, aren't we? Are these Les, is that a Leslie? Yeah, it is. Look at the old, been, uh, the old bar there. You can have an experience here. Like this is old. Everything in here is old. Doug and I are not really sure why we're in here, but it's the old Woolworth. Doug likes antiques, that's the Doug problem. likes antiques. And there's some serious, serious antiques in here. That lady was really nice for letting us bring the camera in too. Okay, we're here with Evelyn at uh, Woolworths in Bakersfield. And how you doing, Evelyn? I'm Les. I'm fine. Nice, it's nice to meet you, Les. And she was just explaining, we were talking about Buck Owens and the heritage uh, here in Bakersfield, you know, Buck Owens. And she's actually met Buck Owens. Well, Bakersfield was Buck's home. He claimed himself to be a Bakersfieldian, and we certainly do claim him. Uh, he's a great humanitarian in the first place. Uh, he built a heart hospital and gave it to the city of Bakersfield. And when he built the Crystal Palace, it was a, a joy for all of us because it's great entertainment. And he himself appeared, and even when he had throat cancer, he kept right up. Trash. Trash. And so he succumbed to uh, throat cancer? He didn't succumb to throat cancer. Oh, okay. Other ailments, but he, okay. he was treated for throat cancer and kept performing in spite of it. Yes, yes. And, uh, well, he's well loved in, uh, in Canada because uh, we operated. Right. He was a hometown boy and liked his family. Very good. Well, thank you very much You're for sharing with us. Today. You're welcome. You fellas have a great time, okay? Thank Thanks. you so much. And on I'm out. <laughs> there. The Rocky Horror Picture Show, just like old times. Alright. Okay, so Doug and I are back on the streets at Bakersfield. We're going to the music store. Going to a music store. Check out some guitars. Happy and Jacks. Not, not gonna buy any stuff. here. Looks like there's another theater over there. That's kind of neat. There's front porch music front right porch. there. Doug, this is uh, this is our one of our new friends. Hey man, what's your first name? Joe. It's Joe. Joe's uh, Joe the City. Joe City. He's the drum guy in here at uh, at Front Porch Music Sales uh, Music and Service. So we're gonna go in there as soon as his boss gets in here. But Joe doesn't give a flying rat's ass if he starts at 11 or he starts at 12. <laughs> it sounds yes, good. Sir. Right on, buddy. 